Hi all, welcome to Go Classes. On Go Classes YouTube channel, we always discuss about gate computer science preparation. We have talked about how to prepare for gate exam, how to approach the subjects, how to approach the test series, and also we have taken many interviews, detailed interviews of previous gate computer science toppers. But now we want to bring to you a new series that is life after gate. Once the masters is over, different students go on different career lines. Some students they go for higher studies, some students go for job, some students they start their own company. In this series, we want to share their experiences with you. So get ready to gain valuable insights from various people who have achieved remarkable success in their respective field. Take a look. But uh, when you move, like when you when you join um, for masters even then you would see realize that okay during my gate preparation I actually had a lot of time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I covered all the uh, aspects and uh, it was not like uh, giving the correct answer. It was also trying to make sure that uh, the uh, aspirants think uh, all the corner cases and uh, right. typically like uh, all the uh, like any question bank uh, we see it will always be like you have a question you have a steps to follow you get the answer. But mm -hmm. uh, what if uh, or how those steps came? And if there is a, it is a multiple choice question, uh, you get one answer. But why the other answers are wrong? Uh, grades are not important, but not that is not universally true. Uh, I would say that the knowledge that I gained, uh, you know, I was working mostly on social networks, like learning embeddings or different nodes and edges. I used that knowledge to solve one problem uh, during uh, one of my Amazon projects, and I was able to like apply that kind of knowledge. Of, uh, so I would say I have learned a lot. What I learned at IIC, I was successfully able to like it gets used. It's not like it's a waste. It gets used. Uh, you have to again in the industry as well. You have to keep on updating yourself with the latest information, like latest models that are there. But it's not like it's a complete waste of waste of time, like what you were doing during your IIC uh, right. projects. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, on that note only, there's just a small segue here that uh, you are working on machine learning, artificial intelligence in the industry. You did your projects just going one step, uh, one step before that. Uh, what actually made you decide that you'll be pursuing your career or you'll be pursuing your projects during your masters in machine learning and artificial intelligence? And were there any other considerations at that point? Hi everyone, today I have with us Mr. Location. And I'm very fortunate to be talking to you because uh, we don't uh, generally get a lot of PhDs um, like in general conversation we don't uh, generally tend to give a lot of focus there because uh, as our societal mindset is uh, people generally tend to focus on jobs and how to get there but uh, talking to somebody who's pursuing research and at such a high level such a pinnacle is a, is a great pleasure of mine.